So amazingly, it's raining today. We've had a drought in California since forever, and the few rains we've had have been little drizzles. This is actual proper rain. Okay, so it's me, Gazbot, again uh, for day six of 100 Days of Making Comics. Today I did about two and a half hours of work. Seems like two to three hours seems to be my average, which I'd like to be better, but considering it's way more than I've been doing and on such a consistent basis, I'm not really going to complain because there's more forward motion I've seen on this project than I have in the last six months. So um, today I did five pages of scripting, um, full dialogue and everything. That took me about an hour. And then I did one character design that took me about an hour and a half, but the first I don't know, 15 minutes of that was looking for pictures of likely candidates. I wanted to look at some CEOs and stuff. I don't always do research on my characters. I don't always look for photos, but certain types of characters uh, that I'm not as familiar with in my own world, like guys wearing suits and military commanders, for example, I tend to do more research on. So I'm going to go ahead and put up a speed video of that right now. So you can see I have some reference pictures in the bottom, uh, and this is me doing a picture based on the guy kind of to the bottom left right under his lapel there uh, and I'm deliberately leaving it small I'm not trying to get it exact it's sort of like uh, I've heard voice acting described a lot of times they come up with characters that are just bad impressions of celebrities and this is sort of what I'm doing I'm, I'm trying to look at a picture and then draw it but I'm not really trying to get it to look exactly like that person more just a impression uh, of them and to make it look different give me some diversity this is a guy who's had too much plastic surgery. He's uh, the president of Abercrombie and Fitch. He's supposed to be a real uh, not fun guy. I don't know who this is. I ended up uh, not liking this one. I remember he looked a, bit, a little bit too super villain crazy. Um, he had kind of a weird up angle, which is why I liked him originally. But then, uh, yeah, it just looked like a little too menacing, especially the way I drew him. Uh, like I said, uh, all of these, I'm not going for likeness so much as. I don't know if essence is the right word. Inspiration. Inspiration is, is you know, the best word based on. This guy I liked a lot. Uh, kind of reminded me of, like, a skinny Mark Marin, the podcaster. I think it's the uh, Frank Zappa beard is what did it. But uh, I, I think I ultimately did not end up using that one. I was also trying to come up with a guy. Like, this guy is bald uh, and has a beard. I wanted the CEO to be visually distinct from his second-in-command so I was uh, trying to deliberately pick people that wouldn't look like that character at all. Uh, this guy I liked because he had more of like a tough guy, almost like a mafia boss sort of thing, like a heavy brow and chin. And, uh, yeah, he looked imposing, almost like a Batman villain or something. And there's his eyes glinting with rage. So I think I nixed the top three right away. And then these three are the ones I like, the Mark Maron looking guy, the Mafia looking guy, and then the bald beard guy. And then I kind of just made an amalgam of the three. I kind of took the hair from the Mark Maron guy, the ears from the Mafia guy, the eyes from the Mafia guy, uh, and I ended up doing the beard uh, and, you know, just went from there. So it kind of looks like the Mark Maron guy with a few other aspects. Adjusted it, and then now this is me cleaning up the amalgam I made and uh, just adding whatever touches I want. I liked... Uh, I wanted him to not look especially old, but kind of have bags under his eyes, like he works a lot and he's stressed out a lot because he's the head of a company. And kind of messy hair, but like that sort of messy on purpose, like he's trying to be a cool uh, CEO, like he has a stylist that told him how to look cool. And then I take the cleaned up head and I shrink it down, time for a body. Kind of look at the pose of that guy in the bottom left, he's sort of a little heavier, schlumpy guy. I didn't want him to be a big fat guy but I didn't want him to be super skinny either because the other the, the second in command is, is skinny and had kind of a very dynamic commanding presence and while this guy has to be powerful enough to be a CEO I didn't want him to just be a clone of that guy um, I started drawing him uh, I liked the idea I didn't want him to have a jacket at least not all the time you know he could have one on a chair that he puts on but I didn't want him to be just shirtless either and then so I put a vest on him uh, and put you know kind of weird little extra stripes again to make it sort of look like something that could be contemporary but just sort of a bit of a weird fashion that is either super fashion forward in a modern day or contemporary for a future or another planet something like that it helps that I don't know much about fashion so I kind of just throw my own little flares in on a pre-existing fashion of what I think it kind of looks like and uh, that helps <laughs> wouldn't be so helpful if I was doing you know current day board meeting stuff I'd have to do a lot more research I like the idea of I uh, was shading his arms, but then I thought it'd be cool to give him a black shirt, again to go for uh, 
little alien slash future and also to make him look like the hip CEO guy hip in quotations there again in case I'm not being clear so I finish up the details there and adjust everything and put a little shadow in and then uh, I realized that I didn't really give him an environment which I didn't have to do but I had given his second in command an office and I wanted to make sure he had an office that was better kind of made it circular those are big windows behind it uh, circular desk fancy sort of sharper image type chair with like weird gadgets and his monitor is like a holographic projector as opposed to a flat screen just everything a little bit nicer and uh, yeah that's him that's the CEO of the corporation in the comic book a little shading and then here's a good look at him so there you go yeah so that's that so that was pretty much my day today it's about 5 five thirty. it's almost dark out as you can see you could also see I have some Christmas lights up here uh, we put those up over the Thanksgiving holiday um, and it's nice when it gets dark the lights come on we have like a photo sensitive timer thing I got at Target uh, and it, it has a nice festive kind of atmosphere for the next month or so which I love Christmas lights um, but anyway uh, yeah, so that's it. I uh, haven't had dinner yet. It's possible to do some more work after dinner. Maybe not, but I'm going to just put the video up, and if I do more, I'll mention it tomorrow. Tomorrow, Q goes back to work. Uh, I was supposed to have a work-for-hire job, but I'm not sure if it's happening. If it happens, then I'll just get in whatever work I can get done tomorrow. If it doesn't happen, then my goal is to do at least four hours tomorrow, if not more. So, yeah, that's it. That's day one, two, three, four, five, six. And that leaves just... 1994 left.